Hello guys, here are two of my Echeen stationary engines, ET1 and ET7 at the front. Discovered something, uh, to make them look a lot more authentic of course, uh, they really need to be on a proper trolley. Look at this. Not far out is it? Not far out at all. Proper little steerable trolley with a little handle on the front there. These are made by Britain or Britons of, of uh, England. They're called an ETRL stationary engine. They do them in various forms. They do this McCormick D-ring. They do a John Deere model uh, and so forth. But as you can see they're not far out and these trolleys would be absolutely superb to mount one of these engines on here and you've got room under there to put a battery box etc perhaps you may, you may have to have a little box on the back here for the ignition i don't know uh, when you mount this engine on here but as you can see they are not far out at all and the trolleys are just so absolutely authentic with a proper uh, steering on the front and things and turnable wheels and so forth well anyway that's my idea for today so there we go you can get these on eBay for around 30 to 40 pounds and in order of course to put one of these engines on here uh, you would have to get a Dremel with a small cutting disc and cut along here to take the whole thing off they're not riveted on the trolley there seems to be all one casting However, as I say, you can actually cut them off, which I'll be doing with this one. Um, and just I'll just keep this, this top part just for... Uh, I think I'm going to start and handle look. Uh, I'll just keep that top part just for... Uh, you know, for keeping it safe sort of thing. But, um, yeah. Um, I think it's a good gamble to put one of them on, on one of them trolleys, to be honest. I really do, honestly. There you go, uh, it's food for thought, and um, I'll let you think about that. Thanks for watching, bye.